Hello guys, welcome back to another episode here on African Confessions. So I'm still waiting to get the part two of the story from that pastor, but he hasn't been responding to my messages of yet. I'm just crossing my fingers that wherever he is, he is okay and he's going to come back with part two of his story. So in the meantime, I'm going to read for you this message that was forwarded to me by one of our admins. The message that was sent reads like this hello my sister can you please post this message with your audience but please i'm not going to tell you the country which i am from and the current location where i am located but what happened is that we have been keeping this secret in our family for a very long time but as for me, I am now a child of God, but this secret is destroying me and I think that it will end up destroying our whole family because what happened is that there was this uncle of ours, he killed his child and then he buried the skull of his child in the backyard of his home so as to perform some rituals. This uncle of ours, at first he was in the police force, then he became a politician, he was a well-known politician and he was so connected. This ended up to him not being arrested when we found out that this was what had happened. When my uncle's child went missing, it was at a point in time whereby in our country we were experiencing a lot of kidnappings and hijackings. So my uncle only said that his child also had been kidnapped. But later on, the wife of my uncle suspected that maybe something sinister had happened to her child. And also after the disappearance of my uncle's child, now there were a lot of rules in that house. My uncle's wife told us that there was this other room whereby she was not allowed to enter this this other day she tried to enter that room by force then our uncle he beat her up and also she always complained that a lot of people were coming to her house unannounced and some of these people will be wearing strange clothes sometimes when she will go out when she comes back to her own house she will find out that cars will be parked outside in front of her gate then strangers will be inside her house and if she ever asked them they will tell her that we are waiting for the chief so that we can have a political meeting then the strangest part is that these people used to have spare keys even to her own bedroom no one would ask our uncle because we were all afraid of our uncle because he was so politically connected in our family there are a lot of secrets and now i think those secrets are making us suffer because there was a one point in time whereby our uncle there were rumors that he used to date another man's wife and when that man found out he came and he confronted him at his own office but later on that man just disappeared my uncle used to be saluted even by the police they were so afraid of him my uncle was quite a big name that even if i were to mention his name a lot of people from my country will quickly recognize him he had shipping containers some of them they used to carry these frozen chicken cuts from brazil he had a lot of warehouses and also some of his shipping containers they were transporting electronic goods from china he also had a very big electronic gadget shop and this gadget shop the day that he passed away it just went up in flames the reason why i think that to expose this family secret that has been kept for so long it is because my family members they only look at the wealth that was left behind by our uncle but we are suffering as for me i'm suffering because i'm the one who has been hit the most Two of my children were born with disabilities. This is very common in my family. A lot of children are born with disabilities and there is not even an explanation. If we go back in our family history, we don't find a lot of people who have disabilities. It's only this our generation after our uncle who have children with disabilities. Like me, for example, two of my kids have disability. My cousin sister, a child has a disability. 
disability. My half-brother also, his child also has a disability. This is not normal. But if we try to sit down and we say that, let's speak about this thing. What are we going to do? None of all of my relatives want to come up with a solution. They are living comfortably with the money that was left behind by our uncle. So our uncle, by the time that he passed away, it was as if he was running mad. They even fired the maids and the gate men who was working at my uncle's house because he was just confessing to everyone. The gate was always locked. Our uncle was always chained next to this chair that he used to love to sit on. So later on, my uncle's wife called all of the relatives and the police. Then my uncle rose up and he started to confess how he had killed his own son with his own hands. They said that they only took his head and then they buried it at the back of his yard and the rest of the body, they just dumped it in a river. But what amazed me is that the police just walked away and said that there was no proof that the chief had killed his own son. It was only that he was running mad and they would not believe a madman. They refused to dig up to see if there was any evidence. And also our relatives, they refused for the backyard to be dug up. But I still remember that my uncle's wife later on called my father when we went there at the backyard Someone had dug up and removed the evidence. But when my uncle was confessing before he died, he said that the way that he had killed his son, they had used an axe to cut off his head and they took that axe to a shrine to offer it and the sacrifice was accepted. Then they had to bring back the head of the boy. Then they buried it. Since my uncle was running mad, some of the things that he spoke about, I don't know if they were true or maybe they were just the words of a madman but most of the times when we were sitting he would just say that I am not a ritualist by choice but I joined by mistake. He would say that back in the day when he started his political journey he joined this money club as a way for him to get connections with people who had already made it in life. So he said that on this particular day they had gone out to play golf then he was invited to the house just for a few drinks. When they were there, that is when he was told that he had to join this club. And for him to join, he was supposed to make a sacrifice. And then he chose his son. From there on, after he had done that sacrifice, money started to flow. The thing that is now making me doubt if I should expose this family secret or not is that when I used to sit with my uncle because he loved me a lot, so before his passing days, he always wanted to be with me. So he used to love to watch TV. If someone comes on national TV and they will be speaking, my uncle used to laugh and say, ah, look at this one acting as if he is innocent. But people don't know that he sacrificed his own mother before the elections. He came gets into his car and drives alone to his mother's grave. Then he takes off all of his clothes and urinates while he's standing on top of his mother's grave. For me as a person, I just feel as if I am stuck. I try by all means to pray for my family so that they can open their eyes and see that this world that was left by our uncle is not good wealth. But if I try to speak with any of our family member, they will just block me or just pretend as if they didn't hear what I have told them. I have tried to create my own business, but my business did not succeed. Anyone in our family, if you try to create a separate business other than the one that was left behind by our uncle, you will not succeed. So my sister, please tell me when you post my my story so that I can follow up in the comment section. The reason why my family doesn't want this secret to be revealed to the world, it is because they only look at the wealth that was left by our uncle. But according to me, when I look at the whole family, these children that are being born, they are suffering because of this wealth. But the older people, they don't want to hear anything about letting go of the wealth that was left by our uncle behind. Dear listeners, uh, that was a message that was sent to one of our admins on Facebook and I had to give the narration. Please tell us what you think in the comment section and let's meet again in the following episode.